Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah ma The question is asking here, is it permissible for the husband and wife, if they both agree that the relationship isn't working anymore, that they proceed with the talaq and they forget the whole idda period? They know that it's not going to work, there's no chance of reconciliation. Is it permissible for them just to just do the talaq and get on with their lives? Or is the idda a must? Now, to answer this question, we have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Ya Nabi, Ya Talaq to Nisaf, Talikuhunna li iddatihin. Wahsul idda. Count the idda. If you were to divorce your wives, you need to have an idda period. And count the idda periods. So, with this, we understand that there has to be an idda for each talaq. So, if a man doesn't want his wife anymore, he divorces her. And there has to be an idda period for that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to us what the idda period is. Uh, he says, in Surah Al Baqarah, Wal Mutalakat, here to Basana, it's a Rabbasna bin Fusihinna, Thrasa Tukuru. Those who have been divorced, they need to uh, observe the idda period for three menstrual cycles. So, this is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For each talaq, there has to be an idda period, three menstrual cycles. So, imagine he divorces his wife within the menstrual idda period, within those menstrual cycles, she remains his wife. He continues to live with her, he continues to maintain her, etc. And if he wants to reconcile, and if she wants to reconcile, there is that possibility, because they're still within nikah. The question is asking here though, I don't want him anymore. And she's saying, I don't want him anymore. So wait a second. He's saying, I don't want her anymore. And she's saying, I don't want him anymore. Can we just forget the idda period? I move on, he moves on. Now, this is a issue that the ulama have differed on. The Hanafis and the Malikiyah have said it is up to the husband. Now there's a little bit of difference between the Hanafis and the Malikiyah on this. The Hanafis have said it's entirely up to the husband. If the husband wants to forego the Idda period, because it's his right to have that Idda period. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says, وَبَعُولَتُهُنَّ أَحَقُّ بِرَدِّهِنَّ فِي ذَلِكِينَ إِرَادُ إِسْلَاهَا The husband has every right to withdraw the talaq within the idda period if he thinks that this is something which is better, something that he wants to do. The Hanafis have said if he wants to forfeit that, right, then that's up to him. There's no idda, then he can finish it. The Malikiyah have said something similar, but they've made a differentiation between the first and the second talaq with the third talaq. Because we know in the third talaq, the idda period in the third talaq is a little bit more lenient. She doesn't need to do the idda period in her husband's home, etc. However, the correct view now, as we have quoted some of these ayats, is the view of the Shafi'iyah and Hanabila, and it's also the view which has been made correct by Ibn Qayyim, Ibn Taymiyyah, and the legend of Da'ima. This is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands the Idda period. So now the issue is the Idda. Who is it a haqq of? Is it a haqq of the Zawj or is it a haqq Allah? If we say that it's the haqq of the Zawj, of the husband, meaning it's his right, then... Some of them, as you have heard, have said, well, it's up to him. If he wants to forego it, then it's up to him. But the Shafi'i and Hanabila have said, no, it's the haqq of Allah, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَحْسُ الْإِدَّةِ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ رَبَّكُمْ Fear Allah, your Lord. Do the idda. وَالْمُتَلَّقَاتِ يَتْرَبَّسْنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ ثَلَاثَةَ قُرُوءٍ The ayah begins by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, that the people who are in the Idda period, who have been divorced, have to observe the Idda period of three menstrual cycles. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ends the ayah by saying, Wallahu Azizun Hakim. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Aziz Hakim. And other ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains and, 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 and illustrates to us and makes it clear to us that these are from the hudud that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set. So in Surah Talaq, in Surah Nisa, in Surah Baqarah, وَمَنْ يَتَعَدَّ هُدُودَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ ظَالِمِينَ Within the context of Nikah and Talaq, whoever transgresses the browns, then they are the people of Dhanimun. Therefore the Shafi'i and the Hanabila have said, this is the haqq of Allah, even if you do not want to remain in the marriage, and you think that the idda is... You know, of no real purpose, we're not going to get back together. You still have to observe the idda the way it is. And as we have previously explained, that for the first and the second divorce, the idda has to be done in the husband's home. As for the third idda, still in the husband's home, but if she feels that it is safer or better to do it elsewhere, then that is also permissible. As the Messenger of Allah uh, allowed for uh, some of the women that were divorced uh, with the irrevocable divorce, which is the third one. Uh, talaq, uh, uh, that they can do it elsewhere.
And this hopefully answers the question as to whether the Idda period can be overlooked or not. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he allows us to understand the religion in the best way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, puts blessings in all the decisions that we make.